how to compare lists in Excel and why it's important to compare information. So let's take a look here in this practical example where I have basically two sales reports, January and February. Uh, in both reports, I have information such as date, order ID, customer name, quantity total, region, and delivery price. So let's say I want to check the recurrency sales for the same customers, or I mean the customer that bought in January and I also bought in February. So I want to check the recurrency if the customers are bought all the months with the company. So the recurrency, this is what I want to check. And another analysis that I can make here in the other hand is I want to see the new customers because as I have the February report and also the January, maybe here in February, I have a couple of new customers. The customers that are just buying for the first time ever in the company. And I can I, I need to check that. So two analysis that we can do here, compare lists in Excel, compare information. First, see the recurrency and also see the, the, the new customers, okay? And to do it, let's create here a new spreadsheet. And of course, you can download this Excel file to follow along with me this tutorial. So just click in the link in the description below, 100% free. I'm gonna click here in this plus sign to add a new sheet like this. Okay, with this new sheet, I'm gonna click hold and drag and drop here to the ending just to organize it better. And then right click, rename. Maybe I can type in here comparing information or analysis or something like this, you know, analysis. Enter. Okay. And in order to make sure we can compare both lists, let me come back here to the first spreadsheet, January month. And that way I'm gonna select here, click over the letter C to select the whole column. And I'm gonna press Ctrl C to copy all the information because we're gonna need to have both lists in order to compare the lists. I can come back to the analysis spreadsheet and then control v to paste okay now in the same way let me came here to the february report and i'm gonna also cope the customer's name and i'm gonna go back to the analysis and maybe i can paste here in the column f control v control c control v cope and paste okay now with the two lists aware here in the spreadsheet we can compare both informations and we can see the new customers and also the customers that I bought only in the January report and didn't buy anything in the February month. But let's start with this first analysis uh, to see uh, the customers that didn't bought anything in the February month. The thing that I can start with here is just to change the headers. So the first one is about January and the second one is about February. So let me change the titles because it's going to make it easier to understand what the both lists stand for. So with the January list right here, for example, I can see how many times each one of the customers appears in the second list. That way we can see the recurrency of the customers that bought in January. And of course, I know that maybe there are some customers here, such as, for example, Oliver Anderson. Maybe he bought more than just one time here in the January month. So the name is going to appear again and again, two, three, four times. Okay, it's going to repeat the name, the same name. But it doesn't matter because the result that I want you to look for here is the zero. So if we got zero as result, this is because the customer that I have here in the January month, the customers that bought in the January month didn't buy anything here in the February. So this is why uh, this is what I'm looking for a zero. OK, so it doesn't matter if the Oliver Anderson, for example, bought here a hundred different times in the same month, because as I said, I'm looking here for the zeros. The function that can help me is the count if function equal sign count here count if function count if double click want you to select the first thing that i need to select here to input is the range so this is my first argument in the function and my range can be the column f where i have the february month comma and i need to count every time that let's say the oliver anderson the name that i have here to the left appears in the in this blue list right here in the february okay range close parentheses and then enter and as, as you guys can see it's equal to zero so it's indicate to me that oliver anderson didn't buy anything in the February month. So, okay, so we got our first result. If I click here in the down right corner of the cell, click hold and drag down or double click, want you, we make sure all the rows now contain the same function. And we can see through the same function that, for example, Ethan Murph just bought in the February month eight different times. So, okay, we can check the recurrency of the same uh, customer. We can see the zeros and we can also see numbers different than zeros. So something that we can do here to make the analysis a little bit more is is just to filter all this data that we have here to the left all this data set and seeking from for the zeros i'm gonna uh, input here any letter maybe a x just to to input a header and then i can just press ctrl shift l to input the filters and then i can click here in the second one clicking this down arrow 
and then I can check the option zero. Mark this checkbox right here. Click OK. And here we got all the customers that just bought once in the just bought in the January month. Okay, didn't bought didn't buy anything in the February. And as I said before. Even though you have some names with uh, rep repetitive names, it doesn't matter because, for example, Oliver Anderson, we have one here, two, three, four, it doesn't matter because the result is the same, zero. Oliver Anderson didn't buy anything in the February month, so this is what I'm looking for, okay? Now let me read it off this filter here, clear filter, okay? Now let's do something similar to the February month. Now I'm gonna be able to analyze the new customers because let's say Scarlett Young is the first time Scarlett is, bought, is buying here something in the company. So if we got here zero as result, it indicates it to me, okay? And in the same way, we can use here equal sign, the count if function to help us when true to select. Now the first argument, the range, instead of using the column F again, the February list, we're gonna take the January list to see if we got a new customer here in February, comma. And my criteria here is gonna be the, the name that I have here to the left, close parentheses, and then enter. I can double click in this direct right corner of the cell, one, two, to make sure all the rows contain the same function. And as I can see here, just in a glance, there's no zeros as result, but it's, it's important to use the filter because that way we can see better. Let's input here in a letter just to make sure we can use the filter and then Control Shift L to apply the filter to this data set. Click here the down arrow and then, okay, yeah, we got here a zero. Let's uncheck everything and just check the zero, okay? And yeah, so these are the new customers that bought for the first time here in the company. Sarah, John, Emily, and so on, so on. And of course, you can also take this list right here, select everything, press Ctrl C, and paste in anywhere else in the spreadsheet to make sure that way uh, the analysis is complete. For example, you can also create a new spreadsheet just to copy and paste the, these isolated values, okay? And I hope you guys enjoyed this video on how can we compare lists in Excel to see the recurrency of something and also to see new somethings, comparing uh, different spreadsheets, different lists in Excel. I hope you guys enjoyed this video and if you have any questions or any suggestions to the next videos, let me know, comment down below and I see you tomorrow as every day has a new video. I see you there.